hi guys welcome back to yet another weekend vlog <laughs> and if you're new to my channel my name is carol titi caribou caribou <laughs> i mean you got a double caribou hey <laughs> so this is not how i normally love to start my weekend vlog but i mean first of all today is friday uh first of october 2021 and you know it's the beginning of the month and it also means i have to account for previous month so a lot of financials inventory all of that especially if you run a small business you know what i am talking about <laughs> so today i was at the shop for the better part of the day but i did manage to squeeze in yeah um an errand that i can share with you guys you guys have seen i was at mara organics and i got myself some henna because you know my henna was done and i bought not one but two Woo! because my neighbor one is for my neighbor my neighbor saw how i did progress on my hair and she was like First of all, she's a mama. She is my mom's age, but she's like, yo, whatever you would, what, what you're doing, what you're using, I want it. <laughs> so I was like, okay, the next time I'm going to purchase, I'm going to include yours and I'm going to make it for you. You see, I do have an in-depth video on my channel explaining to you how I make my henna gloss recipe, but then I still get requests to make for sale. So my friend also wanted me to make for her for sale. And I'm like, okay, you can DIY. But I also get why she didn't. She doesn't want to DIY. She wants it ready for her to use. So I'm like, yeah, I can get it like sourcing the ingredients and also portioning the whole. They don't want to do the whole thing. They just want to use it when it's ready. And I'm like, okay, I'm considering making them for sale yeah so i'm going to start with my neighbor because <laughs> she's been i me every time she says it she's like hey where is my henna <laughs> i'm like so at least right now i can i can give her so um this is from mara organics this henna powder they do have the napur henna that the one that i usually use but i switched to this one because this she told me this is better quality and I can see it because the powder is really nice and fine. You can see this window over here. The powder is really nice and fine. I think you'll see it tomorrow when I'm making the, like a short clip of me making it because the in-depth one, I said, I'm going to put a link up here. So this is 350 for 120 grams and she has some instructions at the back. Let me read Kidogo for you guys. Kidogo. <laughs> you can mix henna with aloe vera powder and amla powder to make an effective hair strengthening mask. DIY queens, are you listening? <laughs> Which is great for reducing hair breakage. And I can attest to that. My hair is way stronger, way resilient to breakage. That's why I've managed to, re to retain so much length. And it's because of my henna gloss recipe. I must credit it. Must credit it. <laughs> so the ingredients is the Lawson Inamis leaf powder. The Lawson dye is what you guys see. That is what is responsible for the strengthening properties of henna. All of that. If you watch Kali Proverbs like I do, you know all these details. And she did she is definitely part of inspiration for me for using ayurveda so yeah so you guys are going to see it tomorrow <laughs> Woo. oh and i'm drinking my lemon water warm lemon water so hmm. yeah now you guys i did tell you what i did after the sagana adventures but if you haven't watched that vlog i'll put it up here you need to go check it out <laughs> so 
after dipping myself, after plunging into the river water, I did rinse out my hair when we went to the shower. After the whole activities, went to take a shower, I rinsed my hair from head to toe. So I stood for a couple of good minutes in the shower just rinsing off my hair and then I followed it up with shebe butter. Now shebe butter has been coming through for your girl. It has been, it is the truth. <laughs> so even midweek, what I did was to spritz my hair with the, um, rosemary water, aloe vera juice, and glycerin. Spritz. And then afterwards, massaged in the shebe butter. And that's what we are doing. That's how we are looking. <laughs> so, yeah. That, that is what I did. I did not stay with the dirty water the whole week so that I can wash my hair this weekend. No, no, don't do that. I rinsed off my hair. I stood there for like a good like five minutes just rinsing off my hair and then under the shower and then now this. So I felt like I needed to give my hair some TLC. That's why I got the henna <laughs> and give my hair some strength some resilience it's been a while since i did henna like i think two months so i was like hey i need to get my give my hair some loving and my henna mask i know it has been like controversial in terms of the ingredients like it's drying the, the onion and garlic juice can be drying to your hair but also henna is drying to your hair as well as black tea very drying to your hair so these three drying ingredients for me it's a powerhouse because they as as much as they're drying they also work so well for your hair for your hair for your scalp everything so i'm like mm, dryness is the list of my worries because i do follow up my henna gloss or henna mask with always with a deep conditioner and i use heat so you should always do that if you find henna is drying to your hair always follow it up with a deep conditioner i mean it's it, maybe it's not an option i have to do it but what i can guarantee you is that your hair will your hair <laughs> will lo you lose less hair in terms of shedding like your shedding will reduce significantly once you try out this hair mask just once not even twice once so i'm also thinking of doing some tea rinses with the henna so i'll i'll, I'll uh, reduce i mean well i'll leave some yes i'll leave some for tea rinses but yes yeah so i think this can last me like a month or maybe not month a month no it will last me two to three months, depending on how much, uh, how many times I use in a month. If I use once a month, it will last me around three to four months. If I use it twice, it will be like two to three months. Yes. So, yeah, that's that. So, you guys, right now, I'm not even doing much. I just want to watch something and just go to bed. I'm tired. Tomorrow is a new day. <laughs> a lot needs to be done tomorrow as well. So, I'm like, so tonight, I'm just going to chill, <sighs> enjoy a show, maybe Real Housewives, <laughs> maybe some Insecure. Yeah, so that's the plan. And so, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <sighs> Good night. <laughs>
Hi guys, so today is Saturday, 2nd of October, 2021. <laughs> so, I've already started on the laundry. Normally, I start late and then I end up finishing the laundry late. <laughs> so today I started early, so it's already running. And today I just want to go get some groceries because, again, it's the beginning of the month. But this time I want to get, like, fruits and veggies. Yes. I feel like I haven't been eating enough fruits and veggies. I need to get that fiber in. Yeah, so that is the plan. I've been spending the better part of the morning editing tomorrow's vlog. Nowadays, I'm so late in editing. I think my week is just jam-packed. So, yes, I have that. And what else? What else? I have noticed that I end up uh repeating my clothes because you guys if you haven't noticed i've put on some weight so clothes my previous clothes are not fitting me and i need to start making myself a new wardrobe <laughs> so that's something i'm thinking about and definitely i'll take you guys with me when i do that today i was thinking of doing some repairs on some of my body suits hold on let me bring them <laughs> hold on Okay, so my bodysuits, first of all, they are the long sleeves, uh, they are pants, like underwear bodysuits and not thongs. <laughs> so what this end up giving me panty lines and I don't like that. So I want to repair this. I want to do some, I need to modify the pattern because I do have a pattern for this bodysuit i need to modify it and have thong bodysuits and be creative with the bodysuits as well so part of upgrading my wardrobe is that doing some new bodysuits and next week next weekend is my cousin's my cousin's wedding so i have to make an outfit for that because none of my outfit fits <laughs> so i have to make a quick outfit out of that i've already asked my other cousin what the theme is so that i can the theme color so that i can know what i what fabric to go for i was thinking of going fabric shopping but i can shop for my fabric stash so that's what i want to do because it will save me some time i don't have time to go fabric shopping but for now i'm just going to sh shop my stash get the um, fabric make my outfit and yeah so we have that so that's the plan for today saturday and yeah so what are we going to do grocery shopping so let's go i already have my list i'm not buying a lot because next weekend probably i won't be around so i'm just going to buy a little bit of stuff and we can do a grocery haul so yes so a quick update on my skin you can see my skin is peeling and it's looking rather dry so i've been using the demelan 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 i think i pronounced it the wrong way the last time i showed you guys this but i've been using it off and on it has a couple of acids glycolic acid kojic acid and alpha abutane that's why my skin is really dry but it, and it's also peeling so yeah I mean, I've been using it off and on and always wearing a sunscreen. So, yeah, that's the quick update on the skin, in case you're wondering. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi guys, so this is my mini grocery haul. We have the fruits on this side <laughs> and the veggies. And I separated the overripe bananas. I'm going to freeze those for my smoothies. And this butternut, I plan to make butternut chapo with it. <laughs> I'll probably, for the carrots, I'm going to make salad with the carrots cucumber and the cabbage kind of like a cold slow yeah half of this cabbage i'm going to cook it with just oil and black pepper hmm? and then the other half is going to be used in my cold slow so yeah this is my mini mini grocery okay actually in nairobi <laughs> it's orange season that's why you can see the oranges so yeah this is my mini haul. I don't know if I'll make chapo for you guys next weekend, but next weekend I'm not around. Maybe when I come back. <laughs> hi happy sunday today is sunday october 3rd 2021 and um some of the things that were on the to-do list yesterday are being were done today and uh, i'll continue doing throughout the week <laughs> yesterday i was derailed and you know saturday evening it being like a new month weekend yani anyway so now i had to do stuff today morning and i'll keep doing like my cousin has already told me the color scheme for the wedding next weekend so i'm just going to it's color it's it's navy blue and peach i don't know <laughs> what i'm going to get i mean i'm going to show you guys what i have in my stash and then I'll also show you the progress of the outfit that I decided to make. Yeah, so that 
will happen throughout the week so either monday or tuesday so i won't show you guys everything right now or today but yeah so it's just one of those sundays i just want to start early on making dinner and just chill i'll probably just listen to some chill sunday jazz as i finish up on some work i've uploaded even like today like a few hours ago so go check out my latest vlog it's late i know of late i've not been doing such a good job at uploading at midday because that's my goal <laughs> yeah so anyway better late than never it's up on a sunday that's good <laughs> so go check it out share my content if you like my content like it All right guys so that's that for this weekend this weekend has been a random one <laughs> yeah but <sighs> anyway guys um i'll keep you guys posted okay guys so i also bought some fish <laughs> i feel like last month i ate a lot of tuna so this time i decided to go get like the real fish so this is probably going to be tuna tonight <laughs> All right, and then other than the fish, I bought some red meat. <laughs> I haven't eaten meat in a while. So this is minced meat. Do you want me to open it? Okay, let me open it for you guys and then come back. <laughs> okay, guys, so this is the meat. Still really bloody. So minced meat, I plan to... And then I just bought a whole meat, a nyama, and then I said, uh, minced meat for me. So I still have some bones and to make some beef stock with the bones. And then make some either meatball patties and also burger patties, if it will be enough. So that's the plan for the minced meat. Yeah. <laughs> 